Hey guys, it's Mia. Welcome to my channel. As we know, back to school is right around the corner, but due to COVID, a lot of people are either gonna be homeschooling, doing online school, or just online classes with their teachers. I've been homeschooled since third grade, and through the years, I've gathered a lot of knowledge about things that work and things that don't work when doing school from home. So today, I'm going to be giving you guys and gals some tips and tricks on how to stay organized, productive, and focused this coming school year. I'm also gonna be showing you some really cool products that make working from home so much easier and fun. Before we go over tips and tricks, let's go over some helpful supplies that you will need. Number one, noise canceling headphones. Because when working from home, we have pets, parents, siblings, and there are a lot of distractions. Like sometimes I'll be learning a lesson online and the teacher is talking and downstairs I can like hear one of my parents talking. Then I just zone out for like five minutes and then I have to go back redo the lesson and it's just really hard to focus if you can just hear conversations and things going on. Even if you're not watching a lesson, if you're just reading or writing an essay, then put on the headphones. You can put on like white noise, ocean sounds, study music, or you don't even have to put anything on. Just having them over your ears does help. Number two, individual notebooks for each of your class. For math, I recommend grid lines so you can make line graphs and straight lines. The supplies I love for note taking is colored pencils, highlighters, markers, colored pens. You can get calligraphy markers that make your handwriting nice and smooth. I personally love those. It makes note taking so much fun. And just using colors really helps you differentiate the different notes you're taking. So it doesn't just blend all together into one long paragraph in black and white. Trust me, when you are studying, it makes it worth it. I also do recommend getting an electronic sharpener because if the lead keeps breaking, it takes time to like do that and then all the shavings come out. So if you have just a nice electric pencil sharpener, it's fast, it's easy, and just better. When you do have to erase something on your desk, all the eraser shavings get all over your desk and they get like stuck and then you wipe them on the floor and then it's all gross. So I recommend getting one of these little teeny tiny vacuums that you can keep on your desk. It is very handy. You can just keep it right on the side of your desk and if you spill something, it's no big deal. You just pick it up, wipe it over the mess, and then it's clean. Okay, this one is a lifesaver. Get a small dry erase board to use it as scratch paper. I don't know about you guys, but I waste so much space in my notebooks by just writing math problems out. And then my notebook is just filled with a bunch of nonsense problems. So if you have a small little dry erase board that you can just write on, you can just quickly erase it after each math problem. If you like to work on the couch or on your bed or on the floor or somewhere other than your desk, a lap desk will come in super handy. They have really cool ones on Amazon that also is like a dry erase board for scratch paper. And it also has a cup holder and a clipboard all attached in one. It is so cool and so helpful. Okay, now that you have all of your supplies, my next piece of advice is to set up your own personal workspace with all of your stuff close by and organized. It's important to keep your things organized because if you end up needing something in the middle of a lesson, it'll only take you a few seconds to grab. But if your supplies is scattered everywhere, you're gonna have to pause your lesson, take time looking for it, and if you're me, probably get distracted and end up on your phone. Then when you finally found it and get back to your lesson, you're gonna forget what I was just talking about, and then you'll have to go back, do it again, refresh your memory, and it's gonna take a while to get back in the groove of things. So I recommend getting a desk and drawer organized Organizer, so you know where all of your things are and when you need it you can grab it in a jiffy. Let me show you my setup. So here is what my desk setup looks like. We got our nice comfy chair. You're gonna need a comfortable chair because you're gonna be sitting in here a lot. Oh, oh my gosh, it looks like the gates of heaven. And here is my weekly dry erase board planner, but we'll talk more about that in a bit. Here are some more of my notebooks, books, and planners that are nice and organized on this little book holder that I got from Amazon. And here's another organizer for my supplies. And this is actually really cool. It organizes your chargers, so they stay right there, and then whenever you need something, you just pull it and plug it in, and then you're all set. And here is the little dry erase board that I keep as scratch paper just right here whenever I need it. Our sharpener, little vacuum, all my markers, pens, pencils for writing. And yeah, this is my organized desk space. This is one of the most important things, is plan out your week. If you don't schedule your day and have it structured, it's very easy to fall off track. 
once you start to get a week behind and then two weeks behind and then a month behind, it feels impossible to catch back up. Trust me, you don't want that to happen because it's very frustrating. I've literally gotten off track so many times. I had to go throughout the entire summer doing school because I was so behind. I learned that the hard way, so I am telling you guys now, make a schedule and stick to it. Personally, I'm a morning person and I get up early and seize the day, that's when I'm most productive. But if you're most productive at night, then do your work at night. The beauty of homeschool is that you can make whatever schedule works best for you. I have two planners that I use that help me so much. This is the first one I have, I put on my fridge. It's a dry erase board so I can erase it and start fresh each week. I also have this daily planner. It says the most important task of the day. If this was the only thing you did today, you'd be satisfied. And then it's secondary tasks and then additional tasks. And the whole point of this book is to not move on to the next thing in the list until you finish the first thing. You can also get the yearly planners where you can schedule stuff way in advance and you can schedule due dates. It doesn't even have to be school related. It can be like a doctor's appointment. Put it in your phone calendar and set reminders because if you forget you have a doctor's appointment or something, like it can throw off your whole school day. So having a hard copy of a planner and then also getting the extra alerts in your phone is so helpful. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys. I officially graduated high school. I'm going to be doing my first year of college. I'm just gonna do a couple of classes this year because I did graduate early and I have so much other stuff going on in my life, but I will let you guys know when I know more about what classes I'm taking. And if you're interested in that, then I'll do another video on that when I know more. Well guys, those were some of my tips for you new homeschoolers out there. Comment down below, what type of school are you doing this year? Homeschool, online school, online classes with your in-person school, or can you actually go to your school? I'm very interested to see how many people have to do school online, choose to do school online, or people that go in person. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It would truly mean the world to me. Also, if you wanna see more of me every day, then follow me on Instagram and TikTok. The link is in the description. Bye guys.